Hello guys and welcome to Program Arrest. In this episode I will talk about generators in TypeScript. A generator is a function that returns an iterator. Okay, so let's create some function like this. I am a generator. Currently I will return null. And what I need to do, I will need to return an iterator and I will return an iterator of uh, numbers. Number. Okay. So I'm a generator <coughs> is a function iterator, which returns okay an iterator. So iterator uh, is an interface which is already defined in TypeScript. Okay, and what it defines, it defines three methods. Next, return and throw. Uh, and with these methods, uh, what you're expecting, the behavior that you're expecting, is that every time you call the next function, you get a, okay, let's look at the interface once again. Every time you call the next function, you return, you get an iterator result, which has a value uh, the next generated value and a boolean done which means either the generator uh, finished generating the the values which means it will uh, the next time it will call next it will return undefined actually this current time we, when it is done it will return undefined otherwise uh, it returns a value with done false so let's look at example of uh, a simple generator uh, and how we can build it very simply. So the the straightforward uh, implementation of it would be actually to create an object with all those next returns and throws functions. But there is a built-in mechanism uh, which is built in TypeScript also, well in JavaScript uh, since uh, ECMAScript six. And uh, you can see it already uh, also here. Okay, so it is a definition file. This is where we saw the iterator. It is the ECMAScript 6 definition file. So since ECMAScript 6, uh, there are generators in the JavaScript. Uh, and how you can do it, you can simply declare a function to be a generator using the star okay, on the function. So function star is a, a, a terminology uh, that means that this function, the I am a generator function, is a generator function, and this way you can use the yield keyword like this. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a for loop, okay, and I'm gonna yield return the I. So, what, what happens here? As you look at it, like here, the star is doing something that it, when I call it, this function, it doesn't uh, run the for loop. And if I remove it, okay, it will yell at me at other stuff, but the generator will actually run uh, the for loop. Okay, the, this function, when I call it, it will run the for loop, but when I put a star on it, it knows it is special function, it is a generator function, and it doesn't run the for loop, it wraps it around with the uh, iterator interface and now you can use uh, next to produce the values. So let's do it. Console log iterator dot next and let's do it a few more times. Okay, so what am I seeing here? So the first time that I'm calling the next, this function runs it enters the for loop with i equal to zero and yields the zero. <coughs> Sorry. When it yields the zero, it holds, okay, it returns the zero value inside an iterator and it says that it didn't uh, finish uh, this function because we didn't, uh, didn't uh, finish uh, and didn't get a return, okay, inside this function. So, uh, the, return, the return statement, so it, it is not done. The next time I'm calling the next, it continues from the same point it finished with the same arguments and loops one more. Now i is equal to, to 1 
and yields me a value 1 and this goes on and on until we're going uh, i equal to uh, 2 we're looping it is now equal to 3 the for loop condition breaks and we finish the function this at this moment this function exits and the last value that we're getting is undefined and it says to us that uh, the function already finished okay so this is a simple way of creating a generator the cool thing that you can do here is actually inserting uh, a value from outside inside the function in the middle of the, uh, the execution so what do i mean by this i can create a variable uh, inside okay and i will log it inside let's log it with the i inside i okay and i'm gonna log it I, the inside okay so what i'm seeing here is uh, all of the time the inside is actually uh, equal to undefined because we're not uh, passing anything inside this function but the way that we can do it is actually like this okay let's see what happens here so the first time that i'm calling the next with 11 it all it only starts this function so we are not even here so the 11 is actually lost okay we don't get it but after we yield the zero okay we are returning here logging the zero and the next time we are calling the next with 12 the 12 is returned from this yield statement and put into inside and we're logging it inside for the value 0 because i is still 0 we didn't increment increment it yet so we're uh, printing inside 0 is 12 and yielding 1 after 1 is returned we're printing printing it here we're uh, putting 13 inside in, uh, so 13 is put into inside and we're printing it and the last time we're calling it with 14 it is put into inside with 14 we're logging it for i when it is equal to 2 and it exits the loop because uh, i is not uh, less than 3 and we're finishing and we're uh, getting the undefined with done true so this way you can actually put values inside the generator and uh, affect its generation for example we can do some kind of logic that uh, uh, states that if the inside is i don't know uh, less than uh, 12 we'll return the i as it is otherwise we'll return i uh, multiplied by 2. another useful thing that we can do is we can uh, terminate the execution at all so uh, suppose we decided <coughs> that uh, this iterator after uh, we got here is no longer uh, needed and we want to destroy it and uh, we want to terminate it and uh, we will no longer uh, need the values of the next iterators and we want it uh, i don't know to return it outside and cut the loop we want to implement for example a function that gets an array and takes five first uh, values of the array so we'll cut it after the five iterators and uh, the five next calls <coughs> So the way to do it is actually, I will show you, log iterator dot return. Okay. So after we're doing it, we're cutting the execution uh, and you can see it uh, by looking at here. So the next, uh, after we're called with 12, okay, 12 is, is returned to inside, we log it and yield the uh, the next one which is one uh, and once we call the return uh, it is cut so we don't get any more values but we can also sp uh, pass the last value to be one 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 so the last value we can determine it by using uh, by calling the return statement so we are saying basically uh, return uh, cut the iteration and return the last value to be one 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 so <clears throat> the iterator will return us 111 with uh, done. And the final uh, useful thing that we can do is uh, throw some exception 
for example, the, I don't know, for instance, we are yielded some uh, invalid argument and we want the iterator to know about it and to throw some kind of error. So uh, let's first of all wrap it. Okay, so we're gonna try to yield this code, catch the exem uh, exception and log the error. Okay, let's log it also with i. Okay, and <clears throat> what I'm gonna do in, uh, here is I'm gonna throw log iterator throw some error. Let's go over this example and see what happens. First time we're calling this function, uh, we are getting a value zero, okay, and yielding it. Uh, and the next time we are throwing an error, so the error is thrown, we are logging it with the same uh, value i. Okay, and we're getting here and yielding a one. So this y, uh, this uh, line is logging value one. Okay, uh, okay, and we are stuck. The next line we're uh, inserting a 12 inside, so inside is 12, we're logging 12, uh, and going once again, and i is equal to, after one, it is equal to two, and two is returned, and we're finishing it with a return with one on one, uh, and uh, we're getting a value one on one with done true. Okay, so this is actually what is going on uh, in this code. You have watched an episode about generators in TypeScript. Let me know what you think about it by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. You can watch more TypeScript videos by clicking over here, or you can trust YouTube to know what you really want to see and click over here. If you want to watch more code related videos, check out my channel and feel free to subscribe. See you later on Programmarist. Thank you.